The source is here at the Scotiabank Convention Centre for the second annual Comic-Con. And this year they've managed to bring in some pretty big names, including David Prowse, who was Darth Vader in the original trilogy. Let's go see if we can find him. So, David, tell me, what's it like to be part of such an epic trilogy? Fantastic. Fantastic. It's altered my life completely. Yeah, yeah. And uh, coming to comic book conventions, what's like the number one fan question that you get? Uh, how hot was it in the suit? And how hot was it? Very, very warm. Yeah, sweat, sweat buckets. Yeah, sweat buckets. And we filmed, we filmed Star Wars during the hottest summer we've ever had in Great Britain. Like you know, so it was a. But it was okay. You managed. You managed. Yeah, yeah. He used to obviously take take the suit off every so after after all the major takes, and then you know then you know, wipe off and and put it all back on again, like, you know. No, it was, it was, it was, it was quite, quite easy. Is this your first time in Niagara Falls? Is this your first uh, time in the city? So I've been in Niagara before, but only just as a, as a, as a tourist. I came years ago just to have a look at the, look at the falls. And, um, I, I, and I went back last night. I just had a quick look around, a quick, very, very quick look around last night. And it's, uh, I, 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 wanna, I, I really want to go and look at the falls again properly. Uh, in the, but I've only got today and tomorrow here. And I think um, I'm going to be here all day today and here all day tomorrow. And I go home tomorrow night. So I don't think I'm going to be able to see much of the falls. Yeah. Did you light it up at night time? I know. I, well, I, I saw, I saw, I saw that it was, they were all red last night. But I only saw them from the car, driving along in the car. And uh, so I, I really didn't see much of them. Like, you know, yeah. But no, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Lo lovely, lovely, lovely touristy spot. Yeah. Lou, so tell me, when you were filming The Incredible Hulk so many years ago, did you ever imagine that way down the line you'd still be signing autographs for the show? I never thought it'd be like this uh, <laughs> almost 40 years later, and that the legacy is going to go on forever. And I remember when I did the pilot for Hulk, they told me that if it, if it doesn't become a series, it will always will go to beta, like VHS. Uh -huh. But everything should change in uh, like an explosion. What's the most common fan question? Uh, they tell me how much they love me, how much I affected their life, and I brought a lot of happiness to them. That's great. And um, tell me, have you ever been to Niagara Falls before? No, not this part of town. I'm very excited because <clears throat> I got here last night, and I look out my window, and it brings back memories because the movie man on my road in Niagara, they filmed Superman. I mean, my whole life, I'm from New York, but I've never really seen the Niagara Falls. Well, you're going to love it. You have a chance to do some sightseeing? or? I can't wait. I'm getting a chance to walk around. Right, thank you so much. I don't want to hold up your line anymore. So, okay. thank you. <laughs> Great, thanks. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Sam, Flash Gordon still has such a following. Why do you think the series lives on, even though it's been out of production for so long? You know, I think it's, it's a demographic and a generational thing, really. I mean, back then, 34 years ago, we, we had the fans then, and now we have their children and their grandchildren. So, I, I, I think it, I believe it's timeless. You know, I believe the, the movie itself had many different looks. Um, it was camp. I mean, is it real? Is it a comedy? What is it? Action adventure. So I think it, it caters to uh, many different uh, types of people and uh, sort of a pop culture uh, film. You know, it had, and a lot of people tell me that um, it had an impact on their life. Even Seth MacFarlane, who, who uh, hired me and Ted, when he was eight years old, he saw the movie and he said, when he saw me and Flash Gordon, he said he he uh, he had this uh, he he had this realization and revelation that he was going to be a creative person in the uh, in the entertainment industry, and there he is, you know, um, the creator of The Family Guy and American Dad and and the Cleveland Show, and now of course Ted, and he's on his way to doing uh, a lot more movies. What was it like working with him and filming Ted? He was horrible. No, he was no, he was great. He was funny. And uh, surprisingly, he, uh, not surprised, I just, you know, you always see him, he's, he's always on as a comedian, but very professional, kept a smile on his face all day, and uh, was completely prepared, totally prepared every day. And uh, Mark, was, Mark and Mila and everybody was, was, was a great help to me as well. Now, I hear they're making a second one. Any chance we'll see you in that, yeah, too? Yeah, Seth told me we're going to do it, I think, in uh, spring of uh, 2014. That wraps up another segment here at Comic-Con. I'm just hanging out here with the Axeman from Resident Evil. <laughs> Be sure to check us out later in the week for more celebrities and stories from Comic-Con. Reporting for The Source, I'm Elizabeth Hall.